I know this may come as a shock to many of you, but as of today, I will be streaming exclusively on Mixer. I know, I know, it's exciting. Uh, yes, yes, the handsome guy in the front. Uh, how is this going to affect your gaming abilities? It really won't. It's the same me, just a different platform. Yes. What are you most excited for about this change? You know, I feel like this is a really good chance to get back in touch with my roots and really remember why I fell in love with streaming in the first place. Ninja, 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 Wow. I mean, that was one of the best questions I, I've ever been asked. Uh, wow. Uh, any other questions? Ninja, 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 Ninja. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bushy. How will this affect your win-loss ratio? I really wouldn't worry too much about my win-loss ratio. I'll be just fine. Steve, the button. Steve. Steve! Yo, what's going on everyone? Um, so I have been holding on to this for, for quite some time and I'm just super excited to finally let everyone know, obviously. I'll be streaming on Mixer full time now. Um, and I, I, I'm honestly at a loss for words. I'm freaking out uh, in the best of ways and I'm really just excited to finally, I, I just feel like I'm gonna get back to, you know, back to the streaming roots and, uh, and that's what it's all about. So I love you guys. Uh, obviously streams are just going to be the exact same. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the platform. All right. Peace. Okay, this is my fucking response to Ninja leaving Twitch to join a website called Mixer, which I've never fucking heard of, by the way. Mate, what? You fucking sell out. Mate, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Sell out, okay? Sell out. Mate, you've, you're already a fucking multi millionaire. When is enough enough? You've just fucking got up and left a company that has just fucking helped you. After all these years and built your fucking name. And now you're just going to fucking leave? For what? More money? How much is enough? When's, when's enough enough, bruv? Really? More fucking money? Is that re really? You're going to fucking turn your back on everyone that's ever helped you at Twitch to fucking join another no-name website? Uh, it's, it's disrespectful. And that's all the people out there fucking laughing at me going, Haha, Yeah, good. Twitch needs that because they didn't ban anything. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. You don't work for Twitch. Shut the fuck up. Why is everyone trying to fucking get people banned? It's all you guys give a fuck about is getting other streamers banned in the first place now. It's all you guys give a fuck about is just seeing other people get banned. Shut the hell up. You ain't Twitch. Only Twitch are Twitch. Ninja, you're a sellout, mate. You're doing that. Disrespectful. Don't ever bite a hand that fucking fed you, man. Disrespectful. And it's fucking wrong, mate. I mean, how can you fucking turn your back on people that fucking built you up in the first place? Shameful, bruv. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, Twitch, you fucking sluts. <laughs> Good job, Ninja. Proud of you. You guys ready for this one? It was just over a year ago. In fact, I think it was March of 2018 when Drake played with Ninja. I've been broken up with. I've broken up with girls. You know, some guys. Wait. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. Let me put you on the chalkboard. And the biggest ever Twitch stream happened with, you know, Ninja playing Fortnite with Drake. And everyone said, oh my god. Gamers now go on mainstream. This is it. We made it, everyone. 
And I was very skeptical of this, and I said on Twitter, I don't see how, you know, Ninja playing with Drake means that we all made it as gamers. I think this is just stupid hype for the sake of stupid hype. Again, I've only seen this a million times in my life, and I don't, you know, I'm basically very skeptical of the whole thing, understanding how this is a big deal. He's not the biggest gamer in the world. He's a gamer who jumped on a hype train and got popular because of it. And just because someone plays a single stream with Drake and gets sponsorship opportunities that a bunch of kids watch him doesn't mean he's the biggest gamer in the world. I would think, I, I, mean, I mean, I'm just being honest, PewDiePie was much more popular than Ninja when he was popular, like at his height. So I don't know what the hell they think that they're doing with that. Maybe they just didn't like PewDiePie or whatever because of some controversial content that he put out. It's just a fad. Here's what ESPN's trying to do. Oh, we need to get the, the attention of all these gamers now because we realize that, uh, you know, it ain't so profitable to just talk about other kinds of sports. So now let's actually pretend. All these years we ignored esports. Let's pretend like they're big now. And uh, let's just get Ninja on our cover. Fine. So I actually fucking, I deleted the tweet. I said, enough, maybe I am just an old disgruntled gamer. I don't know, I give up. So here we are a year later, and uh, yeah, we really made it as gamers because Drake played with fucking Ninja on stream, right? Tell me I'm Sour Grapes Phil and all that shit. And now here we are a year later, and no one gives a fuck about any of that stuff, and Fortnite's basically a joke. Um, but you know, I was wrong, right? You know, it's, that's just fucking sad, you know? Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Well done. Crusher. Looks like he's starting to tire. This very well may be too much for him to handle. I'm really disappointed in what we're seeing from him here tonight. Heading in, I really oh, thought yeah. he had a chance of winning.